Mike Bond of USA Today Sports and MMA Junkie here in Curitiba, Brazil, standing alongside Chris Cyborg, who makes her UFC debut this Saturday at UFC 198 against Leslie Smith. Uh, first of all, you're here on Fight Week. Was there ever a point where you didn't feel this UFC fight was going to happen, that you were unsure if you would actually get here? You know, I really, I just knew about UFC when Dana White believed. When Dana White put to either Cyber will be UFC 198. And I'm really happy today in workout training. I see all fans coming to watch it. And I think it'll be amazing Saturday. Yeah, is it a different experience for you? Because I know Evicta does get some attention. You're the champion there. But this is a whole different stage. It's going to be a huge stage on Saturday, 45,000 fans. Uh, does it feel different? You know, it's really different. There's a lot of media every day. And you know, Invicta is a really, really nice event, too. I'm really happy over there. But I think I learned a lot of things here, too. And for me, amazing experience. Yeah, and what did you think of the fight with Leslie Smith when it was presented? Because there were some options. I know uh, Jermaine Darandami, who got a nice win last weekend, was an option. Uh, some people said Holly Holm. Was this a fight you were happy with? You know, Leslie, she's accepted the fight. I think, uh, you know, I respect her for she's accepted the fight. And all the girls say no. And I think it would be an amazing fight. And when I knew it, she would be an opponent. I know she likes to fight. And you can make a nice fight Saturday night because she likes to fight. I know she doesn't care. Yeah, why do you think some of the others were not as uh, excited to accept this fight? I don't know. Maybe less than I don't know. I think you, I think when you fight, you cannot choose who you fight. You know, I learned this from my gym, shooter box, and you never learn who you fight, and you never choose who you want to fight. And Leslie accepted the fight and they helped me, you know, come my my dreams through. And I very respect that. And yeah. Yeah, and you've been so dominant throughout your career. Uh, Sixteen fights in a row, unbeaten. Leslie, she, she goes out there and she brings the fight to everyone. It seems like sometimes you have your opponents beat before you get in there even because you're so intimidating. Do you think she's gonna, it's going to be different when she comes in just because she likes to fight so much and she's going to bring it to you and you know, she's fought with the, with the ear messed up. She tries yeah. to get through it. Uh, she doesn't seem intimidated. Do you think that's going to change the dynamic of the fight? You know, this is an amazing fight. You know, you fight somebody who won't fight to you, it's better than one scary because you can, see the, you can see the fight and maybe I can show a little bit more my game. Because everyone thinks you just have a stand-up, just a boxing or Muay Thai. But I have Jiu-Jitsu, I have brown belt, and I train wrestling every day. But the problem, the time in the train fight, I don't have time for show all my game. But I have ground game too. I'm aware for any situation this fight, and I think it's a good opportunity if I can show this. Yeah, absolutely. And how do you feel physically coming into, you know, this 140-pound fight compared to when you're fighting 145 pounds a few days out? Does this feel different to you or do you feel, you know, as good as you would at this point on fight week in a normal fight? You know, before I, ha I have a hard time for make more 45, but I, my walking uh, have it now. And I think before it will be semi, semi hard cut for 145, but 140. I don't think it will be worse, but I think semi same thing because now I'm lighter than before. I think because I did them like a 14, in 14 months, I did four, in 13 months, I did four fights, and I think helped me get, get in a lean and keep training. This has helped me if I can make 140 now. Yeah, and there may be some fans who are going to be watching this event on Saturday that maybe have never seen you before, never seen you in Strike Force or in Big Day, anything like that. Uh, what should they be expecting out of you and your fighting style if they've never seen you before and it's going to be the first time? You know, people forget about when they fight Gina Karan, it's fight, it's this fight, it's a history fight, the women's MMA, you know. But to have a lot of new fans and a lot of people, ah, she's the badass women's MMA. And I think this fight, I have opportunity for show the new fans who cyborg. And I, I train so hard for do this. Yeah, absolutely. And do you feel if you win this fight uh, afterwards, it's going to be a Holly Holm, a Ronda Rousey, one of those big names, or do you think uh, it's going to be a few more fights like this, a Leslie Smith, until you, you know, build yourself up more in the UFC? You know, I think about less now, but uh, make you just know make weight more for it. I think after weight, I have to fight good. You know, I have to be cyber Saturday, and after this fight, uh, I would if it okay make one forty. I will make one forty for the champ and for Ronda. Other girls, I think we can make something one forty-five. I don't know, but I think for the champ and Ronda, I can make one forty. Yeah. Do you think Ronda is going to come back and fight? Because there seems a lot of speculation there. Uh, people said maybe it would be later this year, but no one really knows. She hasn't said she's coming back for sure. Do you think she fights again? You know, everyone have a hard time in your career, you know, lose something, you know, every time. And I think you learn something and she keep training and she back training. I think she's have to mind clean, but I think she's come back. She's athlete. No, I think what do you do if you don't be a fighter? You know, I, I don't know. I, for me, I think about me. I think you have a hard life, hard time in your career, but you have to try to figure it out and change and come back strong. 
Yeah, and do you still have hostility towards Rhonda? I know you guys have said a lot to each other in the past. Uh, do you still have negative feelings towards her, or how do you feel about her You know, at this point? You know, I never say anything bad about Rhonda. I think she's a star this, because when she started fighting, she's I already fight her, you know? I already world champion when she started fighting. I think she's used this for people who know her. And I never say anything bad about Ronda. I think she would be a great, a great opponent for me. And maybe she can do something while she talks. She always want to say on fight Cyborg, but she have to come to the champ. And now she's not champ anymore, maybe. But I know she's come to the champ. We can meet in the half, and it's OK. And you know, I think it's for the fans. It's not for ego or nothing. It's just for the fans, for making a nice fight. Yeah, and final thing, um, do you feel you ha now that you have this opportunity in the UFC, you can prove yourself as the best female fighter ever? Because we've seen, you know, Rondo had the title for a while, but no one has been as dominant in the sport for as long as you have. Do you think you are the top female fighter in the world, and this is just a further chance to prove that? You know, I think I just have to go for that and do my job normally do. I think don't change or just change the place. But I think the same work I'm doing, you know, in the Victa and other events, I would try, I would do in UFC. And just have to be me. I have to be same cyborg in all the fights. And is that cyborg the best female fighter in the world? Yeah, and the guy that I love, I love the people say that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for the time. Yeah, it was great awesome. to see you. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank Thanks.